Hey everybody, my name is Dantabagorgas, and welcome to Resident Evil. The I'm playing the, the remake, and I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4. Felt appropriate, you know, for Halloween. I gotta play some Resident Evil. And the remake on the on the GameCube was the first, you know, I didn't play the the original one. So this is this is kind of more my my nostalgia, and the graphics are a little more appealing, to say the least. All right, All right. let's do a new game of Resident Evil. Resident Evil. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll just leave it as it is. Okay, so this is, if I want, my difficulty. How do you like your games? Like cl climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but it takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. So I guess that's easy mode. That's normal. That's hard. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just going to norm with normal. See, you know, see what's up. And anyway, okay, we got Chris Redfield. He's cool and all, but I mean, come on, got you gotta go with Jill Valentine, the lovely Jill Valentine. You, you got you gotta stick with her. July 1998, Raccoon Forest. Situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. Dun dun dun! The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Was it cannibals? Or something else. The Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Joseph? Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh. They got Kevin! We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... A nightmare. Dun dun dun. Yeah, these graphics are so cool. Must have been nothing. Oh, yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. The zombie dogs got him. And I'm out of bullets. Or ah. They're horrifying. Come on. Whoa, go run, go. Run, forest, run through the forest, run. Brad, where the hell's he going? Brad, where you going, bruh? Uh oh. Smack my bitch up! Chris, this way. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it! Make for that mansion. Yeah, let's go to the freaking mansion in the middle of the forest. Let's 
Let's go. Oh, as it loads. Enter the survival horror. Oh. Spooky scary. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Okay. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Definitely. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Okay. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. All right. Secure this area. Stay sharp. Oh boy, Wesker. All oh, the the door animations. Iconic. <clears throat> A dining room. Yes. All right. Well, let's get our. Well, you take the ink ribbon. Yeah. So ink ribbons are how we save, and you do them at the typewriter. It's an old typewriter. Do you want to save your progress? Not right now, because I only got three saves. Survival horror. But yeah, these. These camera angles. Take a look at this. Just so good. Oh. Blood. Jill. Let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not. I'm just gonna keep examining this blood. Don't worry. I'm gonna learn more somehow. Yep. You 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 do you. I'll just do my own thing, Barry. And here it is. Another iconic scene. Dun, dun, dun. Zombie. Um, I'm just gonna run away from the zombie. Cause I don't got a lot of ammo. Barry, what is it? And also, this happens. Monster. Let me take care. It's a monster. Cheapest creepers. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth. Killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Kenneth. Oh my God! They killed Kenny. You bastards! You bastards. Okay. What? So he's following me now? Better report back to Wesker. Oh, okay. That's what they were saying. I'm just. Oh, a picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. That must be that must be a clue or something. A clue, a clue. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Okay, so we'll, we'll deal with that stuff later. Let's go. I guess another zombie is coming through. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay. So I can't go here. Better finish searching the hall first. 
Yeah. Nice camera angles. This is so cool. Classic. Very nice, very nice. Don't go down there! Was that it? Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. Oh. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other I'll side. go back to the blood puddle. This mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. Yeah? Pick. You'd make better use of it. Okay. You got the lockpick. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Got it. Alright, so... Now we have more freedom. So don't go through the front door. That's bad. That's a bad idea. Um, a doggo will come through. I guess let's just go this way. It should be okay, right? Yeah, yeah. This this is fine. Push that. Hold on. There we go. Push it over a little bit. Yeah. Grab that. There's a map of the mansion first floor. Take it. Yes, of course. All right, so it shows, shows you where the typewriter is, doors you've been through, locked doors. I got you. Nice. Very handy. What? What's down here? Ooh, a dagger. So a dagger is if a zombie, you know, catches you, you can stab him in the face with a with a knife. Oh yeah. Here we go. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. Okay. To equip the defensive item, go to the status menu, then select an item. Okay. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press L2 to use a defensive item. Okay, so L2. Oh, speaking of which, it's almost like they planned this. Ah, spooky, scary zombie. Uh. Uh. Oh, they got. Oh, they got you from behind. Just run. An old photograph sits in the frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Ah! Just run! So if they grab you from behind, can't use can't use the dagger. But I'll survive. I think this is locked. Emblem of a helmet. Okay, so we need the helmet key. I guess so we. They're saying to just chill on the first floor, which that's fine with me. Let's let's keep it simple. But I know we have to go up to the second floor soon. Will you take the emblem? Uh, I don't need that right now. If I start carrying, you don't want to carry too many things because you got item management. I'm pretty sure I just need to chill this way. Kenny, they killed my, they killed Kenny. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. 
Looks like he's holding something. Oh, it's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. A video player. Okay. I guess I have to find a video player. Okay. Take the handgun magazine, hell yeah. More ammo is always nice. Oh yeah. Will you take the green herb? Hell yeah. Get that herb. Um. There we go. Now I'm good. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor. Like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Yeah, I mean, here's the second floor. I mean, I guess let's mess it up. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh. More herb. Oh, that's a... I guess normal mode gives you a lot of herb. What's this way, though? I don't know if I want to go this way yet. Oh, yeah. I don't... No. No thanks. I think I need the shield or something. I... I'll have to look into that one. But that's definitely a puzzle. Oh, God. Okay, so, oh, see, you can see the zombies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, die. That took way too many bullets. Way too many. I'm trying to get used to the controls too. Okay. Well, he's dead. For now. Aha! You take the golden arrow. Examine an item. From the status screen, select an item and then select examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. Okay, so that's a hint to go check out this arrow and examine it. Mm-hmm. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. The arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, peridot, but... Okay. So come on, gemstone, a poor man's emerald? Okay. Be that way. All right, yeah, ammo. Locked from the other side. And I unlocked this one from this side. Duality. Aha. Wait. Okay, so he's going over there. Wait, what's that? Oh, another dagger. Let's go. Where is he? it over just a, just a little bit just just a little bit did I do it all right I'm not gonna worry about him um I guess I'll go out this way
leads me to the same area. Is this open yet? Locked from the other side. Spooky. It's an oil painting in a large frame. The painting is dried and cracked. All right, let's go get... Oh! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you can go this way. I think this is outside. Ooh. I'll come back to that. That's definitely going to be important later. For that. To use the arrowhead. But I want to see what, what we got in that one room. And I think it might be a good place to save too. Since we're actually near it. So what we got here. Can't carry any more items. There we go. Just combine the herbs. You're good to go. Blue gemstone. I got one of the chaos emeralds. All right, let's save. I'm gonna leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you think about Resident Evil, if you've ever played it before, if you want me to keep playing it. The Playful Philosopher quote of the day is, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a zombie in possession of brains must be in want of more brains. Seth Graham Smith. And, you know, of course I thought it was appropriate, you know, Resident Evil, zombies, and... Because that's the mentality of zombies. They always want brains. They always want to eat your brains for some reason, but, but they're never satiated. They just want more and more. And since they're undead, they just eternally keep wanting brains until someone shoots their head off with a shotgun or something. That's one of the few ways you can kill zombies in this game. You hit them, you, hit, you shoot them in the head, they don't come back to life. But if you do not, well... Let's just say you're in for a fright. I'll leave a playlist of Resident Evil 2 Remake, another Resident Evil game I've been playing, and also a playlist to Resident Evil 7, you know, Biohazard. You know, I beat that all the way through. You know, I still have the DLC to play, so if you'd rather me play more of Resident Evil 2 Remake or Resident Evil 7 DLC or just more Resident Evil, let me know. Let's get that Resident Evil vibe going on. And also a link to a random video. And if you like this video, consider subscribing, sharing with a friend, hit that notification bell, you know, leave a comment saying what's up. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.